Hey guys, what's going on? Logic 10.6 is out and one of the big features is Novation controller support. We can finally feel like we have an Ableton push and in order to use this before, we had to turn it 90 degrees. Now you no longer have to do that. Um, and the problem was it wasn't matching what you would see on the screen without turning it. And then all the side buttons, all the side features would be upside down, hard to read. And there was no real software fix for it that we could do on ourselves, on our own end. And so now there is the new, layout, the new update. And right after the update, everything looks as it should. So go ahead and update it. And all... Uh, the buttons work and so it's getting a really we're getting a really close experience to ableton live and push and everything we do is mirrored so how does this work in logic you go to control surfaces and then click on setup and once you turn launchpad pro on all you have to do is turn it on it'll appear here there's not much you really have else have to do um when you turn it off it tells you that the uh, inputs have MIDI inputs have changed Turn it on, it tells you that as well. There's also preferences where you can um, just enable auto and uh, that helps with some of the uh, control features that are enabled uh, automatically, but unchecking that did not give me a worse experience. So it still worked for me, such as duplicating tracks and doubling uh, cells um, and, you know, working with scenes and so forth. So all the remote features work, volume works, panning works. Yeah, let me see, for example, if I want to duplicate something. If I click here, duplicate, the cell, the cell duplicates and the software follows suit. And this is a really, really nice workflow and you can keep playing. You don't have to stop anything. Really like it. Here we are doubling the cell, for example, that totally works. Um, super good workflow and logic and apple has not stopped implementing new features working out the bugs in 10.6 now this seems like a very small upgrade in regards to um working with novation controls and by the way all the novation controllers are supported not just launchpad pro mark 3 uh, my launch regular Mar launchpad pro version 2 and all of that one of the features i really like is the notes feature uh, this is laid out exactly like a gigantic uh, short scale guitar if you want. It starts with a C, but you can make it start with an F. And then it's tuned in, for tuned in fourths. So your thirds look the same, your fourths, your octaves, and all of that, right? So from here to here, that would be, you know, a major one. One, two, three, four, five. You know, that would be a G. Uh, G to G, so, and uh, you can off, obviously change that, use different modes and different scales. Um, I absolutely love it. I also love the feedback of these, um, of of the pads. And here you have drums. Yeah, so, as I mentioned, here is what, what's new in Logic Pro 10.6. And this is not such a small update, even though there's no really new, really new, new features out of a lot of incremental uh, fixes and, and making sure things work better. And that list is extremely long. I'm not going to bother going through that list uh, from A to Z. Logic Remote on your iPad or iPhone. So a ton of features. This is a massive, massive update. Uh, for me, I just wanted to highlight... Uh, no, Launchpad Pro, is it as good as a Launchpad, is it as good, sorry, is it as good as Ableton Push 2? Uh, not quite because it, I mean, they really went all out, but you have to look at the price difference as well. I think it's like three times more expensive. And then also Logic itself, and that's just a hardware controller, Logic um, in itself is only 199 And what this proves is they really do not abandon their software. By the way, it's uh, all um, M1 chip compatible. It's Big Sur compatible. Of course, if you have plugins uh, that are third party, which most of us use a lot, they are not working with M1 chips just yet. So you may, we may, not, may want to hold your horses as of um, kind of end of November 2020. And I'm sure 
uh, Universal Audio and Plug In Alliance and all the guys are going to uh, follow suit pretty soon. Apple is really, really making sure they're not falling behind and keep things working, working out bugs, making features more convenient. There was a big, big survey that went out uh, that at least I received um, and it asked me, you know, what are my favorite features uh, and what features would I like to see? What feature, one feature, if I could have it improved, what would that be? I said I would like to have a clip gain feature just like in Pro Tools. Um, I know this can be fairly easily done in Logic also, but the way Pro Tools does it is just really nice, a feature I've always been jealous of. Logic Pro team, my gosh, you guys have been killing it this year. Greetings to you. Thanks. Thank you to you for Massive Beats. Thanks for checking in.